welcome to the MBS Show Reviews and Discussion Podcast. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Silver Quill. There's only so much time left to do my Christmas shopping, and the people I love are so impossible to shop for. I'm dying. Amazon gift card works well. Oh, gift cards. The gift that says, you don't know me. Perfect only for ninjas. <laughs> All right, dude. <laughs> and also joining us today is Torterra1324. I was supposed to be hibernating, but I got woke up. There's no good segue for Pokemon, so I'm just going to say that we didn't put you to sleep. Well, I got no comment for that. <laughs> like any bad segue in today's episode of the MBS show. Well, today is a bit of a special one, ladies and gents, because if you're listening to this now... Merry Christmas, happy holidays, because, well, this episode is going to come out on the Christmas Day. Uh, for you Patreons, it'll be done the same thing, because I'm not creative that way. So, yay! Also, this will be replacing one of the future news episodes, so, yay! <laughs> In this review, we are going to review the My Little Pony Best Gift Ever special that recently came out. Uh, in this special, Twilight Sparkle and her friends do a heartwarming helper to get just one heartwarming present for another pony. And they race all over Equestria to find the perfect gift. So before we hit into this one, uh, first impressions are in order. And Silver, what do you think? Oh, I had a lot of fun watching this special. It's actually been a while since we saw the main six just do something uh, as a group friendship project. You know, it's not checking in and seeing how they're wrecking their own school or uh, dealing with their own mid-life crises. It's just them trying to fulfill a goal and all the misadventures that happen therein. So I had a lot of fun watching it. In fact, I don't think there was a story arc I really didn't enjoy, although I'm sure I can still harp on a few things. In fact, let me go see if I can find a harp. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then. And Tara, what about yourself? I actually really enjoyed this. I mean, like Silva said, there's no big disaster happening. And I believe last uh, Hearthswarming episode involved Applejack and Pinky, where they're trying to, um, well, one's trying to do the other. But at least in here, it's just a normal day where Twilight is panicking and then Applejack decides, you know what, let's everyone get a Hearthswarming helper. Which, to be honest, I've never done something like that in real life uh, with a Santa helper. And seeing this happen, it was very interesting. I mean, I seen the Santa helper kind of thing before, and it looks cool. Uh, personally, for me, I never done it before, so I got no idea. Uh, for as for me, this episode was a lot of fun to watch. Um, just looking at the characters interacting with one another, um, we get new interactions here with uh, Rainbow Dash on Discord. Um, who else? Applejack and Fluttershy. I think that's the first time they interacted with one another, right? In a oh, oh. Um, what you want to call this uh, show? Actually, they've been on two friendship missions before this, ah. so even that's a, a correction to a statement I once made. But we'll get into that. All right, all right, all right. And Derpy, Derp, Derpy is so awesome. <laughs> uh, yes, Derpy is awesome. I, I, I just, I just love the derps. But anywho, if you guys have not watched this yet, what are you waiting for? Go watch it because it's a lot of fun. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the episode. So before we head in, we're gonna do a bit of a change on how we review this. Instead of going scene by scene and themes, we're going to be hyper-focused on a story. Because, as you well know, the story splits off from character to character. And, well, we're trying to make things more streamlined and tell the story of one specific character at a time. But before that, uh, we start off the episode with a shot of Ponyville. We get to see our students six going to, well, wherever they need to go. We see... Who? Uh, Gallus, Sandbar, uh, Smolder, Ocellus, and Yona. I, I don't see um, the princess or the niece of the princess there. Um, oh, Silverstream? Yeah. Is she there? Yeah, she's uh, there. Yeah. She's in some of the screenshots available on the wiki. Uh, she's <coughs> hidden behind Gallus. Ah, yeah. There he goes. Yeah. So I think they're going off to their respective locations for their holidays. So, yay. And also, we get to see uh, Trixie and Starlight going on another camping adventure. Yay! We're 
off on the road to heartwarming. No yeah. shipping here, none whatsoever. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, but anywho, big musical number comes in, and I love this song. Like this song is a uh, cheerful, cheery, and really awesome. I-, I like this song. What do you guys think? This song, um, how can I say it? It's very heartwarming. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, ah, he said it. He said it. <laughs> oh, no, but it does. It does g- give you that Christmas feeling. That it's, you know everyone's very joyful, but at the same time they still got they still gotta get everything ready. Like Rarity, she's gotta get all these gifts ready for her friends and customers. <laughs> yeah, true, 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 true. Uh, Silva. Well, I I too really enjoy just the excitement, the energy in the air. Uh, everyone sort of summarizing what they're doing in their situation. You know, the great return of Grand Pair, even if only visually. And of course, the crushing of a ship. The only thing more fun than, than shipping two characters and forcing that on other people <laughs> is watching their dreams crumble as they uh, watch their ship die. Yes, I'm the Krampus of shipping. Oh no, you're the Grinch. You're a mean oh, one. Cr- I prefer Krampus <laughs> myself. But yes, I'm sorry, Marble Mac shippers, but I think it's safe to say that ship is sunk. Oh yeah, like you get to see Marvel, their heart, heartbroken crush. Like, oh my god, and it's such a cheerful song too. That's just it. I know. Everyone's singing so happily, and then you see Marvel being heartbroken. <laughs> I know. Like, Happy heartwarming, Marvel. I'll get you some glue for your shattered heart. <laughs> yeah. uh, but um, during the song. Uh, Twilight panics because, well, her castle's not ready yet. She doesn't have any gifts for her friends yet. And somehow that piece of paper is strong enough to wrangle up her friends. And, well, Spike just explains that Twilight's having a panic attack and she's not ready for heart swarming. Applejack comes along and tells Twilight to relax, take a deep breath, exhale slowly and explain. Okay. Now I know what your problem is. Okay, how about this? Instead of buying each of us a present, why don't we do a, um, what you call this, heartwarming helper? What would we say? Um, um, heartwarming yeah, helper. Heartwarming yeah, yeah. helper. By the way, can I just distract for just a moment? Mm-hmm. What's your favorite main six winter ensemble? Rarity looks cute. <laughs> But with all honesty, man, it's hard. Like, I like them all because ponies in clothes is something different and it's something I like to see. So, Sarah, how about yourself? I mean, ponies, they, they did apply that they don't normally wear clothes. I mean, they are all covered in fur, so they shouldn't be that cold. But it is, I guess, very interesting to see them all dressed up. Me, my favorite is Twilight. I think the yellow of her ensemble contrasts her coat nicely. Mm-hmm. Although I, I guess I find it kind of funny while uh, Applejack and Fluttershy are the most practical covering up with sweaters. It's like, well, Twilight, I guess your hooves aren't cold and your neck. <laughs> your muffs are just adorable no matter what. So there you go. Yeah. But if you're talking about contrasting colors, Pinkie Pie looks good. This reminds me of her uh, power pony form. Wait, really? <laughs> power ponies? So not the power, the power rainbow power thing. Oh, right. Where she has some blue highlights in her mane. Yeah, and some yellow ones to add to that too and stuff. But still, uh, that's besides the point. Um, To me, I like them all because uh, Fluttershy here reminds me of... um, Who's that Gravity Falls girl? I forgot. Oh. Maple? Maple? Yeah. Mabel, yeah. Yeah, Mabel. Yeah, it reminds me of her a bit. So yeah, that's just me. Oh, get her grappling hook. (laughs) Yeah. So, anywho... um, after Applejack suggests we do the Santa or Heart Swimming Helper thing, they all pick the, whatchamacallit, name from the hat, and off they go. <laughs> and, well, uh, shall we focus on Spike first? Because I think we start off with Spike first, kind of. I'll, I'll focus on the fact that instead of names, Twilight drew cutie marks. What would she have done if Spike hadn't gotten his wings yet? Fire, probably. Fire! Get a gift for fire burn. <laughs> so what? What? It's wings. So get a, get a gift for wings. <laughs> oh great! KFC now has dragon wings. Oh, God, hey, no. has anyone seen Spike? Oh god! No. Oh, instead of KFC, it's KFD. Oh god! No. <laughs> KFD. Oh, no, nice. Oh boys! And before we carry on with the story, um, well, we got a sappy. Hi. 
Hey there. I, I was late trying to find Christmas presents for everybody. Oh, yeah, that's nice of you. Yeah. What did you bring us? Well, I got Norman a new microphone. I got silver. Well, I, I <laughs> don't want to give you a repeat of last year. <laughs> oh, so you got me the darkest, most depressing gift of all. Nothing. <laughs> And I got and I got a master ball for Torterra. Throws Wait, it at what? him. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! So anyway, and now I have a new Pokemon. No. <laughs> One can say that gift was ballin. <laughs> oh my god! But hey, he said it, not just me. kidding. I got silver a whoopee cushion. Fill it with gravy and pull it out on someone you hate. Oh wow! Well. <laughs> <laughs> High class programming people. So anyway, uh, we start a whole story here with Spike. So Spike goes up to Applejack saying that, Hey, um, Applejack, is, is it okay if we trade names and stuff? Because I I, I want to give uh, some pony special, something special, like stuff. Do, do you think I, I can do it? And Applejack says, I don't have rarity. <laughs> <laughs> Not being terribly subtle. Yep. The blood that's in her voice is just like, I don't have rarity. <laughs> it's like, it's like she knows. Mm -hmm. She knew. Everybody She's knows. Like, yeah, everybody knows at this point. Mm -hmm. Even She's Rarity. Like, <laughs> She's all like, "We don't take kindly to you shipping tabs, around, yeah? Oh wow! I've already got. Yeah, I don't ship it. I've already got marble pie depressed at my farmhouse. I don't need another shipper on my case. Oh boys. <laughs> but anywho, um, Spike goes back to the castle, and as Twilight, because right now Spike's mission here is to get that name like to get Rarity's name out of the hat and stuff and she's trying to exchange well gifts with someone and Twilight doesn't have Rarity's name and yeah now it's time for Spike to just find a pony with the name and he stumbles upon Fluttershy and luckily enough for um, Spike Fluttershy has Rarity's name and yay off to get a present for Rarity not so soon because he has to go back to the castle and daydream and panic yeah lots of panicking um i have to break for a bit because reviewing in this kind of style is a bit confusing <laughs> because if you really think about it uh, there's a huge gap between um twi sorry uh, between um spike panicking and going to look for what you call this names this is what you get for trying something new. Or forgetting the special existed. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean I don't I don't think you've had it you've had a chance to rewatch it. Oh I did, I did. Oh, okay, well that's good. Yeah. But here's the I thing. watched it before I came on. Oh my. Well, here's the thing though, Spike is arguably the weakest storyline oh. because he has the least activity and the least presence. Oh yeah, that's true. I think it's that's the best the most obvious conclusion. I think it's the best start to start with Spike then. But anywho, uh, I forget one thing. While Spike is trying to look for uh, the friends, uh, stumbles upon Pinky, and Pinky says, I don't have Rarity. <laughs> and guess who? Rarity appears, and, uh, well, Rarity doesn't have, well, Rarity's name. That'll be awkward and silly. So, as for now, Spike just goes gaga over Rarity, and yeah, heads off to look for other ponies with the name. And like I mentioned before, Fluttershy has it and yay, they trade and Spike goes back to the castle and daydreams and panics. Thank you, Silver. What I don't get is that as he's going through concerning gifts, he passes up a gem statue that looks exactly like Rarity. Uh, it's a sculpture of Rarity made of mini sculpture of Rarity. Like, wow, okay. Um, that is awesome. Either Rarity has some really great merchandising, or she has a uh, very concerning admirer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think that guy might be a stalker. <laughs> but uh, the background characters that Spike passed by, like the elf, uh, isn't that Will Ferrell from Elf? Yes, Will Ferrell pony. <laughs> and then, like, the lady that says... He's an angry elf. <laughs> Uh, and the old, sorry, the pony lady that's selling um, jewelry to Spike, isn't that from the fandom? Says that uh, the lady from Home Alone Two, the Dove Lady. Mm, the, oh, the Dove Lady. I don't know. Isn't she like the cop out of like the old man who uh, couldn't be with his family on Christmas or something? Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. 
Also, before Silver yells at me, I've seen bits and bits and pieces of Home Alone. Really, Sefi? What, what what are we even doing here? What, I at least know you the beginning. Yeah. Wait, you've never seen the whole movie? Shun her! Not the whole movie? <laughs> I've, I've seen the beginning and bits and pieces of it whenever it would like appear on TV. I've never actually sat down from beginning to end to watch Home Alone. Home Alone. Shun her! Oh, by, by shun, the way, shun, uh, shun, uh, shun, 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 Hey, shun. hey, that's better than not seeing the movie at all. Uh, or worse, I... not even knowing who any of... Not even knowing what that movie was. But, but and what about your Star Wars assignment, young lady? Well, we'll we'll get back to you in about four days. That's it. Your assignment now is mandatory. You watch the holiday Christmas special. <laughs> it's on YouTube. Oh well. So um... well, oh, you may want to remind Manga Common then, because I'll be leaving in four days, oh, well. and we're going to be pretty distracted. Oh well. Oh, but by the way, um, on a side note. The Angry Video Game Nerd just recently did a Christmas special. <laughs> it's a really, it's a really must watch. <laughs> Actually, I saw that. <laughs> I know, it's just too awesome. <laughs> but anywho, um, Spike passes up on the present idea, and oh, we see him go back to the castle and decides to make a gift because making a gift is much better than buying one, right? Cheaper. I mean. How much does that statue of rarity made of mini statues of rarity go for? Oh, man. I- I'm not sure. <laughs> I'll trade you it for one rarity. <laughs> real life. Oh, it is going to be expensive. But still, um, Spike here thinks that DIY is much better. So, yeah, I, I totally agree with Spike here because um, handcrafting something is much more awesome. But the things that you're giving rarity here are questionable, Spike. Really, really questionable. So, yeah. Like any growing dragon, he gets sleepy and tired and he falls asleep. Oh god, no. And we won't get to see him until the climax. Yes. And, well, let's hit on to another character. So, who do we want to focus on now? Well, if we go chronologically, just checking... Please be best pony, please be best pony, please be best pony. Twilight. Well, yeah, I guess Twilight's the one who's freaking out again. Well, second best pony, good enough for me. <laughs> there you go. All right, then. So let's go for Twilight then. So Twilight heads back to the castle, needing to finish the decorations for the castle because, well, and un- do we know this or do we not know this? Because uh, Shining Armor and Cadence are coming down for the holidays. Yep. I'm pretty sure it was hinted at towards the beginning. Oh, I need to decorate the place. Yep, for Cadence and Shining Armor, although Twilight loses complete track of time. Yeah. Which is rather unusual for Twilight. I would assume she'd have like 50 clocks all keyed to different time zones. <laughs> but Silver... But I thought you were coming tomorrow! You mean that letter we sent yesterday? <laughs> this is why you include dates, people. Oh, boy. Although, what kind of person sends a... We're going to come over for a visit one day before they actually arrive. Yeah, really, that's what... Oh, wait, no, right. <laughs> Do, do ponies have phones in the question no, or see, no? Uh, it's Dragon Mail, so. Dragon Express with the fire, Dragon Fire. Or in the Crystal Empire's case, they send it via Snowflake, <laughs> which is terribly, terribly inefficient. Yeah, true. I thought they had like old timey whiny phones. <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, Twilight could have finished decorating the castle, but then Spike went off saying, you know, you gotta get the very special gift for your special pony, and then Twilight, wondering to herself, I didn't think it was that way, and then she's gotta find the special gift now for Pinky, and she starts panicking. Yeah, true that, true that. It's all so Spike's Spike fault. fault. Got it. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, with that, Twilight panics even more, and tries to find the perfect gift for Pinky. And this part here, I love. This part here, I love. Okay, uh, have a big chalkboard of what Pinky likes, a friend diagram of everything, and suddenly discovers pudding. That face. <laughs> Just get everybody Smash Ultimate for Christmas. I'm pretty sure they'll be happy. Uh, it won't work for me because I already have it. <laughs> yeah, I already have it. And I don't play Smash. <laughs> you need to. Oh, oh, you don't get to tell me about what I need to do, Miss Hasn't Seen Home Alone or Star Wars. <laughs> Wait, you haven't seen Star Wars either? <laughs> Awkward silence. You find that surprising? I'm basically <laughs> the show's young grandma. Oh young my gra- goodness, that's an oxymoron. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, boys. I am an oxymoron. <laughs> She said it, not moron. me. <laughs> oh, she said it. She said it. Oh, boys. But anywho. <clears throat> but, well, I got to say, with Twilight's pudding face, it's, uh, you know, they're trying to make this a meme now. <laughs> it is. It worked. I mean, it worked. <laughs> I mean, it's like Twilight hold, waving Twilight cane in front of the audience saying, huh? Ah? Ah? <laughs> you like the memes? <laughs> but it worked. Can I have I, the memes? I just love it. I just love it. Oh. Let's face it, drawing faces is just fun, though. <laughs> like, it, it really is just that fun. Maybe that's why it just came out that way. <laughs> yeah. So, anywho, um, Twilight here discovers that, hey, um, the best uh, pudding is Chancellor Pudding Pants. Was it? Pudding Pants? Pudding Head. Pudding, pudding head. head, yes. You got the wrong end. He had pudding <laughs> on his head. Uh, yes. Chancellor Pudding hits Pudding after the hearts warming battle with the what you call this uh, Windy Ghost. Yes, so Twilight's gonna do that and tries to find the recipe, but it's not in the book. Panics even more and tries to find the recipe, and huh, the recipe is in the magic spell section instead of the recipe section. Oh my goodness, what a silly, silly person! Yeah, really? Why? <laughs> you ask us why. Here's the thing. How many times has Twilight had a book sort of vacation? Wouldn't she know this by now? <laughs> eh, even she can't remember everything. Eh, possibly, possibly. I mean, heck, I can't even remember where my cell phone is half the time. <laughs> wow. Uh, but still, um, <clears throat> as we carry on, uh, the door opens and we are greeted to the uh, Crystal Empire Royalty. Um, that's Cadence and Shining Armor and Little Baby Flurry Heart. Yay! Who is adorable in that star <laughs> outfit, though how she can move, I don't know. You asked Maggie. She had she the same can. thing. That's the point. She's a little baby. She, but she's a little baby with non-nipotent magic. <laughs> it's like, I she's don't want to be... a little moving. baby. How long did it even Not take sure. them to fit her in there? Uh, that's true. It's true. Uh, but I'm sure it's all cute and whatnot. So, um, Shining Armor noticed that, hey, um, Twilight, are you panicking? Because it seems that the castle has not been decorated yet. And Twilight just says, uh, no, I, I did this because uh, you guys were coming and we should decorate the castle together as a family. Yay! Uh, before that, I, I need to cook something. So, BRB. And yes, Cadence and Shining Armor noticed that yeah, Twilight's panicking. <laughs> Twilight is panicking over something. This actually bothers me. Uh, later, when they go to confront her while she's making the pudding, uh, she said, oh, Flurry would have enjoy enjoyed sledding, but we came all the way from the Crystal Empire to see you and you're not paying attention. So, Dude, you don't get to play that card. <laughs> you who invited her to your wedding via form letter. <laughs> You who've had her come up, rush up to the Crystal Empire time and again to help you do your own jobs. You do not get to play the indignity card now. No sorry. Oh, but I did. Uh, no, no comment. No comment. I, I uh, No comment because uh, no matter how you look at it, Twilight here is not in a good state of mind. Not in a good state of mind, sir. I ask again, who, where are they looking as their daughter starts plunking <laughs> random objects into a cauldron? Oh, Parents of the frickin' year right here. I, Thank I, you I, very I, much. <laughs> okay, um, before we get any further, um, Twilight manages to make the pudding. Uh, Cadence and Shining Armor comes in and talks to Twilight about stuff and not to stress out about things and just have fun and whatnot. And while this is happening... Like like Silver said, Parents of the Year. How does Caden not know that Flurry just teleported? And you know what? They could see. Ah. <laughs> it is direct line of sight. How can they not see that happening? I know. And they're saying, and they're saying, to, oh, we, we could have helped you. Well, you can't even keep track of your own daughter. <laughs> not to mention, Flurry's dropping all these things in the cauldron, or and they don't hear the splashing sounds of candy canes or anything being dropped in there. Oh, boys. So This is Cadence and Shining Armor we're talking about. Are you really that surprised? <laughs> Just disappointed. Oh, well, yeah, true. Right? But anywho, um, with that, we yeah. hit on to the... Wait, no, I've got, I've got another half an hour of rage to vent. <laughs> maybe later, yeah. maybe later. <laughs> oh, boys. Yeah, you may as well get started now, then. I feel, oh, I feel like I'm going to 
I'm going to be going into a shop and there'll be a, a Santa Claus for the Salvation Army ring his bell. I'll just come up to it and say, Kids shining up by the worst possible parents ever. They don't pay attention to their own game. And that special makes them look really dumb. And he'll be like, what? <laughs> oh, boy. It's not that bad. Well, if you think about it, Shining doesn't really pay attention at all. I mean, if you think about it, where was Shining Armor when Tempest was attacking? <laughs> no comment. Oh, boy. Are you saying flurry? No, no. He's still sleeping on the sofa for that one. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. So, anywho, uh, uh, if you don't mind, uh, we move on to the next pony, and that pony is Pinkie Pie. It's still filled Yay! with the rage. Uh, so Pinky here panics because she had all this present set up because uh, she got all six matching hats. But suddenly, oh, because of Applejack, she needs to change plans. Uh, instead of six presents or five presents, she needs to give them uh, one present for a specific pony. And that pony is Twilight and she needs to look for the best present. So um, with bantering with uh, her sister, she discovers that, hey... Since the Yak knows best, why not visit the Yaks at Yakistan? So, I'll be off. Yay. To the Yak country. Can I just say poor Pinky? Like, she had everything all planned out. She had her gifts ready, but no. She then had to change that all because of this. I don't like change. <laughs> change, change bad. Oh, boys. So, anywho. Uh, well, sorry. Uh, sorry, just one quick. The way she kisses her sister's goodbye and the way Marble giggles at her antics. I mean, one, uh, Marble seems to have gotten over Big Mac pretty quick. <laughs> so, good, that's good. good on her there. Yeah. But that's don't, just rock, a, don't rock it till you try it. <laughs> it's, all, it's all adorable. But if you really think about it, that ship would have been so incestuous. <laughs> I mean, then over this, Norman, the, the, that scroll was way, way back. The genetic similarities would be, mm, I would say, pretty, pretty thin. It's like most of us are related to Genghis Khan in some way. <laughs> no comment. Uh, oh, hey, I can comment. You know what pillaging does for a guy? <laughs> Are Pinkie Pie and Applejack related or what? <laughs> Oh, well, don't be that one guy. But anywho, we are in Yakistan where they're about to celebrate Slinderfest. Is that how you say it? Slinderfest? Oh, uh, sl I forget. It's It sounds more disgusting. Slipnar? More more Yak stomping. Yak stomping fest. holiday. Let's call it that. Uh, but I don't Smash. Know. It, it, it's, it, it's all about smashing stuff. So, yay, Smash Stuff Holiday is about to get started. And Pinkie Pie just says hello to Prince Rutherford and asks, Yo, uh, Prince, uh, since the yak is best at everything, do you have a suggestion for a best gift? And Prince Rutherford here is like, Oh, yo, no, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, follow me, follow me. Um, yak is best at everything except one thing. And that one thing is gift giving. So, Pinkie Pie here is a surprise. And, well, the prince says, No, no problem, yo, no problem, yo. I have a backup, I have a backup. And said backup is uh, this map. So, uh, you need to head to this location here to find uh, three wise people or three wise creatures that knows the best uh, plan for gift giving. Here's a map, go ahead, go, 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 go. Don't, just don't tell anyone. And, of course, she tells everyone. <laughs> yep, that's Pinkie. Because it's Pinkie Pie. <laughs> yep. And to think that she was so good at keeping secrets. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pinky is the one who kept the secret for Shining Armor and Cadence having a baby. Yeah, but she was in a panic. She kept that all right. She she tortured herself along the way, but she kept it all right. True, true. Uh, maybe she maybe she decided never again after that. Yeah, I'm just going to blurt it all out. <laughs> yeah. So, anywho, um, Pinky heads off to the Upper North to visit the three wise creatures, and... It seems that those three wise creatures are reindeers. Uh, with one named Aurora, Bori, and Alice. So... <laughs> well, the, I, I feel bad for Bori. I mean, she's probably not very fun at parties. Oh, man. She's all fun. Uh, but still... Yeah, she lives in the present. <laughs> there you go. We must be ever present. Though, uh, I really love the three fates they got going on here. Hmm, really? And if, well, yeah. You have one that... The three fates of uh, 
Greek and I believe Roman mythology, one me, uh, drew this drew the yarn that represented your life. Mm-hmm. One measured it out, and one cut it off to signify your death. Oh yes, that. And the, and this actually ties into I believe the Jungian style of the three goddesses. Mm-hmm. There's well now I'm her- just reminded of the dead chicks from Hercules. Uncultured heathen, I tell you. I don't know. What, Are you really I, that surprised? No, just because, disappointed. If, I bet. If you don't know Star Wars and you don't know <laughs> Home Alone, you probably don't know Indiana Jones while you're at it. And, <laughs> you, I'm not going to say anything then. You don't know Kung Pao. I, I, I don't know Kung Pao. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <clears throat> but anywho, as we continue, a, a lot of people. Have claimed me to be dead to them lately, so I'm not surprised. <laughs> How many movies have you failed to see lately? A lot. Oh, wow. Cool. I'm gonna How see much Into the Spider Verse. Did you watch that? I'm gonna. <laughs> uh, go watch it, man. It's good. Uh, but anywho, uh, as we continue on with Pinky, um, Pinky meets the Rangers and uh, she asked them about the best gift for Twilight and. Those reindeers got it down because one sees present of past, one sees the present of now, and one just keeps them in line. Uh, this reminds me of the ghost of the f- Christmas, uh, past, future, and present. Or the three goddesses. Yeah. Pick pick one, pick one. Well, you don't have to pick one. That's the thing. It's sort of, it's thematic. It's a representation of idea. Mm-hmm. Our youth, our midlife, our death. True, true. That is, I believe, what it represents. Well, although I like that, I do like that none of them are really dark. Usually, there's a dark one in the mix. I mean, one of them is ready to be dead, but hey, what? ready to be dead? I don't know. Uh, was it Aurora? She uh, she doesn't seem like. Oh, I'm just gonna crawl into my bed. If I don't wake up, just bury me on the mountain. <laughs> Oh boy! Or I'm just don't mind me. I'm just over here decomposing. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> but anywho, um, after the three reindeers got the perfect gift for Pinky, uh, Pinky's so surprised and she don't get it. Like, uh, what's this for? And Alice just says, "You'll know what it is when the time comes." And we Wait, there, it, there it is. There's the dark. <laughs> That's the darkness. Oh, yeah, it's cryptic. Got very dark very fast. <laughs> It's not that dark. You'll know. Oh, you'll know. <laughs> oh, boys. But anywho, um, let's head off to our next pony, and it is rarity. Hurrah! Before we go, before we go, though, one final question. Pinky Best pony. Pinky should have asked the the three reindeer. Uh, how do you afford to do all this? Oh, we predict a lot of <laughs> every time. <laughs> oh. Cheater! Cheater, cheater, cheater! Oh, boys. Oof. <laughs> hey, Silva, Silva! Oh. Yes, I heard it. Here we go. Yay! <laughs> so, anywho... Uh... I said Olaf. Nope. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> Olaf, jeez, where'd he come from? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Are you, are you on Disney's payroll? <laughs> oh, boys. Oh, just let go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, doesn't Disney now own Star Wars? Yep. Yep. <laughs> Oh, but anywho, let's get on to Rarity. Rarity, Rarity, Rarity. So, Rarity commissioned... The best pony, (laughs) you mean? Yep. So, Rarity commissions a pony in Manhattan to create a Stetson for uh, Applejack. And said Stetson is a felt Stetson with stuff. I I don't remember the full line. If Silver wants to check out the transcript, uh, it's well descripted there. So, um... I think uh, the Stetson was made in a set because somehow that thing has arrived at the post office and is shipped and whatnot. And yeah, Rarity heads to the post office and talks to the clerk. And clerk is derpy. I love this. This is my favorite scene in all the special like, interaction. Derpy, watch funds. Ah! Don't hold back now. <laughs> Uh, yes, yeah, so anywho, oh my god, this this interaction is just gold. I, I love this interaction. This interaction is just gold, pure gold. Oh man, like, oh god. 
Still, why do you think over for a bit? Because I'm just <laughs> fanboying over this one. Well, okay, I'm. Well, first you're telling me go check the transcript I'll, first. I'll, <laughs> I'll go check the transcript. You just do it. I did it. Oh, you did it? Well, basically, this is everyone. Well, she doesn't mention what's in the package to Derpy. But this is basically everyone who's ever had to deal with the post office and a mis- miscommunication. Somehow, well, honestly, this is on rarity, isn't it? <laughs> she addressed it to Sweet Apple Acres. I mean, or she says, she said it's for Applejack. And they deliver it to Applejack. Well, that's the post office doing their job. They're not mind readers. True. <laughs> am, I, am I right, lads, or am I right, lads? True that, true that. Oh, yeah, it's all right. But, like... Uh... Cheers, lad. But this is one of those things where, um, <laughs> you know what? I, I don't know. I don't know the logic behind this because it's so confusing. Because um, Rarity goes to Derpy asking about the package that she had, which was for Applejack. Oh, man, that's just so confusing. Why would you know what? This is all on Rarity. This is Rarity's fault. And Derpy's just so cute. Yes. Derpy's just so cute. Don't blame Best Pony. But, okay, you can, but still. <laughs> yeah, yeah we're, we're defending the best pony, i.e. Derpy. Mm-hmm. Uh, Derpy here is just so cute, especially when she double-checks the letter and says, Oh, no, it's not at Sweet Apple Acres. It's at a sweet Acorn Orchard. <laughs> so there's an acorn orchard now? Yep. I got to say, yep. the Equestria's uh, Agriculture Society really needs to diversify. Well, there's a cherry farm. <laughs> Yeah, that's just it. You've got a farm just for apples and a farm just for cherries and, a, and an orchard, orchard just for acorns. It's like, what? Do you. This want is to- the land that gets confused about how the Everfree Forest <clears throat> lets things grow on their own. I'm just worried about the kumquat industry. <laughs> I mean, what do you want to call that, I'll ask you, and still be PG 13? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Uh, but oh, I could I could comment. Oh, God, no. oh, oh I could comment. Hey, 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 but I'll settle for this. <laughs> oh gosh! Oh my! But still, uh, <laughs> just look- welcome to the MBS show. <laughs> yep, this happens a lot. <laughs> yeah. Clearly, <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, You'd be surprised when it wouldn't. Oh boy! But anywho, uh, as I try to get things in order, um, once Derpy says, "Oh, um." The package is at Sweet uh, Orchard, uh, Sweet Acorn Orchard, or whatever it is. Rarity says, uh, "You know what? Never mind. I'll go pick it up myself." Uh, you take. Thank you so much for your help. You 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 help a lot. Uh, before the next client can send his present, it's break time. And yeah, just like the real post office, ain't it? Yeah, there's that too. Oof. I was just thinking of uh, my own recent experiences with the uh, United States Postal Service. The hatred. The hatred endures. Oh, wow. So, with that, Rarity goes to Sweet Acorn Orchard and knocks on the door and meets two lovely farmers. And somehow, these farmers, they say that they really appreciate the gift uh, because uh, their kid really, really loves it a lot. And Rarity here feels a bit guilty for asking the present back because that kind of a jerk move so rarity here just goes inside here's the story about the kid and whatnot and their kid here is really really let's say into fashion and once the kid here sees um what was his name um apricot pistachio Pistachio. yeah pistachio here um, Hertz, who was there at their table and is the famous fashion designer Rarity. Ah, much awesomeness. And Pistachio here invites Rarity for lunch, and yeah, she couldn't uh, decline. So, well, they had lunch. And I'm guessing if it's like the Apple family, it's going to be acorn based dishes, ain't it? It is. Can I just say, I, I really enjoy Pistachio. I mean, this. This kid is just so enthusiastic and friendly and just in love with this this fashion piece. And he's not like really flamboyant as as some might stereotype him. He's got a little bit like, you know, Philly, please, which honestly, if you translate that into American speak, 
It sounds less flattering. <laughs> yeah. But he's just so kind and friendly, and he's not like, oh, I'm so effeminate. No, he just really loves fashion. True. And his family, even though they don't get him, mm-hmm. they don't, well, they they don't get fashion, they love him so much. It's just really nice to see this dynamic. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And the family. This is my favorite storyline, not just because of this pony, but yeah, also because of, you know, this kid. He's just so ador- adorable and just. Ah, I love yep, him. Yep, yep. Yeah, it's nice that he didn't go all crazy fan pony on Rarity, too. Yep. And not like, not like Star Chaser. Oh, gosh. Uh, but anywho. Don't remind me. <laughs> I do have to point out one thing, though, with their addiction to, I mean, I get that they live on an acorn orchard, but they put, like, acorns in their Rarity's um, tea or coffee, and they got acorn curtains, they have acorn wardrobes, they have acorns everywhere. Yeah, acorn and acorn accessories. <laughs> <laughs> they probably have some really acorn, they have some acorn humor, too. <laughs> oh, my. So, so does that make, uh, does that make pistachio Bobby Hill? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm being think, serious here. I think we broke Norman. Nope. It ha- that too no, I broke Norman. Oh, I can help with that. <laughs> oh, boys. But anywho, uh, Pistachio here um, halts Rarity from going and says that I know why you're here and you're here for the hat because, well... Um, you didn't come all the way here just to meet some nobody, nobody, no talent pony from out of nowhere. And yeah, if you want the hat back, here you go. And Rarity takes the. Well, at least he gets it. But mm-hmm. the the next part makes me so yeah, happy. Rarity takes the hat, looking at it, and well, deciding that hey, kid, the hat means more to you than Applejack. So. Here you go. You keep it and never say that you're a nobody from nowhere because if you do, I won't be inviting you to my runway show, something like that. Well, I mean, this this really compliments Rarity as she was an in Sweden elite. Ponies treated her as a nobody from nowhere because she was born in Ponyville, even though uh, she's become a, a very real star of the fashion world. So that's another reason I really love Pistachio. He is a great reflection of rarity, and I could see her taking him on as a as a protege. I love this arc so much, and that's also the main reason why. Ah, I love it. Yeah, I agree with you there, Sappy, because this storyline here, this is just awesome. Like, it's heart-touching in a way that... Oh, Rarity is just so awesome. Like, you inspire to be her, but at the same time, too, oh no, Rarity doesn't have a gift for Applejack. Oh gosh, no. Oh gosh. So. Who cares? Very, ge- very Honestly, generous of her. Though. I don't think, like, even though it is Applejack style, I don't think she'd appreciate it as much as, you know, somebody who really gets it. Like, you know. Pistachio's first main appearance was complimenting and recognizing the style that Rarity was going for. He's a lot more appreciative. Like, yeah, it wasn't meant for him, but at least he was willing to say, look, it's probably not for me, but if you need it back, then here, take it. Yeah, true, 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 true. But still, it's one of those cases or stories where this is why people, or this is why there's Rarity fans. This this is... One of those reasons here, pinpoint to this one, and you'll get why Rarity is different from any other characters. I think what Silver mentioned before, where uh, Rarity is not one of those atypical, uh, snooty, upstart or upstuck girls. Did you say that before, Silver? Stuck yeah, up stuck girls, up, yes. you mean. Thank you. Did you say that before, Silver? Well, here's the thing. In a lot of shows... Rarity would have been the villain. She is the most feminine. She's the one who most embraces uh, feminine imagery, clothing, uh, beauty care, all those things. And in this mad rush uh, to try and give women better representation, there's the temptation to vilify what was once considered the classical views on feminine. Rarity instead embraces it, and I think the show is better and and a healthier representation as a result. Mm-hmm. And that's okay by my books. 
But anywho, let's head on to the next character. And, well, here's the split. Should we follow Rainbow Dash or Fluttershy? I say let's follow... Fluttershy! Yeah. Yeah, all right. Then. Yeah. So, Rainbow here kind of wants to ask... Sorry, uh, yeah, it kind of relates to this one. So, Rainbow here asks Fluttershy all about, well, what she likes, what she doesn't like, and stuff. And Fluttershy here is one of those friends who... <laughs> I'm sorry to say this, but frustrating because um, what do you want to go eat? Oh, anything. What do you want to do? Oh, anything. Uh, what do you don't like? Oh, I, I like everything. Like, oh, person, make up your mind. Or, or better yet, there's actually a restaurant here in America called I don't know. <laughs> hey, where do you want to go? Don't I don't know. <laughs> oh wow. Well. Oh wow! So Terry, you ever you ever have a friend you don't know who what to shop for for them? Uh, actually, I, th- I think I'm one of that one of those people. <laughs> I'm one of those people too. If, unfortunately, if someone would ask me, "Hey, where do you want to go eat?" and I'd say, "I don't really care where we go as long as I'm eating." <laughs> so you're the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> Oh, well, well, the solution to that problem is, hey, guess where I'm taking you, and then you let them decide. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, hey, guess where I'm taking you? Oh, oh, at back Steakhouse. Okay, we're going. <laughs> oh, you tricked me. But anywho, um, that only works once. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, but anywho, uh, Fluttershy. Well, only if they don't know. <laughs> That you're doing that to them psychologically. Oh, <laughs> Anyways. So, anywho, Fluttershy here is trying to look for presents for her uh, Santa helper person thingy. And bumps into Spike. And Spike says, let's trade name. Let's do it now. And does so. And now Fluttershy needs to shop for Rainbow Dash. Applejack drops by and Fluttershy says, uh, do you want to trade names? Applejack says, no, um, I'm looking for a present for Spike. Spike, so you want to help me find something? And Fluttershy says, yeah, uh, let's go. I know a place. And she brings Applejack to the Rainbow Falls for their heartwarming craft fair. You know, I got to say, uh, all the ponies are getting from point A to point B pre- pretty fast this special. I'm starting to wonder if Equestria doesn't have a fast travel system. You know, Silver, they don't want really they don't really want to tell us how they do it, but it's instant transmission. Instant tra- oh great, Goku's like, Oh, that's a my pony. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Does bring up a lot of questions though. I mean, it is around hearth warming. Shouldn't there be a lot of traffic around? Well, for the flyers <laughs> exactly. are not that bad because Fluttershy Rainbow Dash can fly, but Well, excuse me, sir, but I don't have wings. Yeah, and neither does Applejack, and she gets to uh, Rainbow Falls rather swift. Like I said, instant transmission. Instant transmission. It's cartoon logic. <laughs> yeah, cartoon logic. Yeah. <laughs> but anywho, um, they arrive at the Crystal, sorry, um, Rainbow Falls, um, Heartwarming Fair, and Applejack and Fluttershy decides to split up and look for their respective presents for their respective persons. Um, Fluttershy discovers a Daring Do book with Rainbow Dash on the cover, and I'm sure that Rainbow Dash would love this one. But would it that get boring because, you know, um, Rainbow... Didn't she already own something yeah, like that? Yeah, yeah. So, would it be, in, you know, what, what Seppi said? And by the way, um, taking a look-see at the cover of the book, you can clearly tell it's Daring Do and the Ring of Dash or Doom. Actually... Looking at it, it looks like it says Bestiny. What? The D looks like a B. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. This reminds me. Yeah, this, this is the episode where um, Daring Do first appeared with Rainbow Dash. Daring Dunk. Yeah. This is the one because it has rings. Remember? Yes. Yeah. But anywho, uh, suddenly a person comes by and says, Oh no, there's limited stocks. We gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. And Fluttershy is somehow swept to the store. And, oh my goodness, uh, the sales pony is selling some limited edition dolls that is all the craze. Like Fallout 76. Oh, boy. Hmm, very suspicious. Okay, can I just say how ironic the marketing aspect that they uh, portray here is? Considering the show. (laughs) (laughs) 
I'm just more surprised that one of the ponies at the booth is Ali Zoto's follower. Really? Yeah. The white mane, darkish blue coat reminds me a little bit of Trixie. White mane, dark. Oh, you know, she kind of does look almost look like Trixie. So she uh, apparently working for Ali Zoto doesn't cover holidays. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, I see the one you're talking about. Yeah. Hey, it's a day job. <sighs> but still, uh, let's see. Um, how to put this here? Um, set seller sell exclusive dolls, so you need to buy. Buy, buy, buy. Only at Hasbro store. Limit time only. Why don't you get the premium pass for future updates and DLC? <laughs> that will suck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, don't forget to buy loot boxes. Loot boxes. Loot boxes. Well, uh, unless you're getting Joker for Smash. Hey, 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 hey. DLC characters for fighting games are always good. Until you find out that they're disc locked. Oh, no, no. Not to mention, I have no idea who the heck that Joker character oh, from is. From Persona 5. Persona 5. Never oh, played God. it. Wait. It's not the DC Joker? Ah, you lost nope. me. <laughs> ah. So, hey, ah. you had him, and then you lost him. <laughs> ah. You don't even know who this Joker is. Hell, Commons, you know, you you get on my back over, you know, not not watching certain movies uh, that I didn't be, grow up with. Well, so be, so, well. So be, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, uh, you can blame Silver on this because he has a PlayStation 4 and doesn't play Persona 5, so you could scold him on that. But Terra here... Oh. I am definitely going to scold him because I don't have a PlayStation 4, but manga is going to make me play the game anyway. Oh, oh you're going you're gonna to scold me for not playing a game that came out, what, within the last year? Whereas I'm scolding you for not seeing movies that came out within the last few decades. <laughs> Norman, I'm scared. I didn't grow it's up normal. with them or I didn't see them all the way through. Okay, Torterra, I'm about to become your Pokemon master and command you to attack. <laughs> Wait, Sorry, what? I'm the one who just, holds... <coughs> just, just as soon as I'm the one up, holding the master ball, so <laughs> yeah, she scares me. I'm sorry, I can't do anything to help you there. <laughs> oh god, I'm dying. Actually, I'm more, I'm more just sort of afraid of. Uh... I'm more afraid of what she's going to do with it. I'm holding uh... you. I'm your master. Well, this, guy's oh, very, this got adult very fast. This got very adult. Very for, the kids, for the kids, people. For the kids. For the kid, well, okay. This is Pokemon we're talking about. Pokemon is basically uh, animal fighting. Oh well, hey, shoot! You got kids <laughs> telling animals what to do. I mean, I mean, how how does the song go? Pokemon, <laughs> you're bred to die. Our friendship oh, is a lie. Pokemon. Oh, I'll link you to it. <laughs> but hey, to my will, you must bend. Pokemon. Oh, boy, but anywho, oh wow. Uh, Fluttershy buys the doll for all her bits. Oi, oi, oi. Uh, meets up with Applejack, and Applejack says, Yo, Fluttershy, what do you get for Rainbow Dash? And uh, Fluttershy shows the doll, and oh my goodness, it's a really ugly doll. And here's where I want to comment like, why couldn't they do Windy the Windigo? Because, well, the comics already. I know, did it. but That's one if thing. they saw Windy, like I would be freaking out. And Windy's cute, and the song. But uh, yes. Whitney, well, you mean the girl with the milk no, tank? Windy, Windy, the Windy go. Yeah, here's the funny thing: this entire plot line is running very parallel to the comics. Yeah, but the comic version is much more better because everybody enjoys Windy, the Windy go. Go buy exclusive on the Hasbro store. <laughs> Really, I actually like this more than the comic. Oh, really? Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, because here I sometimes the... wonder if they were setting up for the Ugly Dolls movie because <laughs> you know, Fluttershy got an Ugly Doll, and now there's an Ugly Dolls movie. <laughs> I didn't. I haven't even heard about the Ugly Dolls movie. Yeah, there's an Ugly Dolls movie coming out I don't soon. Know. Oh God! <laughs> well, that's one movie I'll definitely not see or allow my children to see. <laughs> oh boys! But anywho, um, so why why do you like this one better than Windy the Windigo? Well, I, I'll have to fast forward to how they resolve ah, this conflict. Okay, if that's the case, Instead let me tell the story. So, anywho, Fluttershy bought the doll, and the doll is a string doll. Let's pull, it says something, and it says something like, buy our places and toys, buy our DLC, buy our exclusive paid content, buy. 
Bye, bye, bye. Now you're making me think of the cheap commandos. <laughs> buy all our playsets and toys. <laughs> oh, boy. So, anywho, um, Applejack says, Fluttershy, you're getting cheated because exclusive my little candy butt. And, yeah, it seems that everybody has the toys. And once they look at who are selling those toys, it's Flim and Flam, the world famous Flim Flam brothers. This just confirms that these two have a sickness. This is no longer, oh, we need to make money. This is, we have to scam people to reinforce our sense of self. I mean, the minute they saw it was Fluttershy, the pony to whom they owe their current casino, one of the two, mm-hmm. they should have been just like, oh, here, have a free one. Yes, on your way, see ya. Okay, we'll scam the next person. But that one pony could bring us down could bring us completely down. And still, they have to scam her. Just like they have to scam Applejack. Just like in the comics, they have to try and pull a scam in Ponyville, the one place where they're always on the lookout for them. These two have a sickness. You mean they have a problem and they need to sit... Oh, no, this is a sickness. This is full-on medical diagnoses. Let's <laughs> let's get them riddled up or something like that. <laughs> wow. Well, not to mention, the way they scam Fluttershy, it doesn't even raise any questions, but they talk about how Fluttershy needs to get an awesome gift, and it needs to be 20% cooler. <laughs> Which, another thing, how do they even know she's shopping for Rainbow Dash? She didn't reveal that uh, Rainbow Tara, Dash was her secret Tara pony. Tara, thing. Uh, flim and Flim read through the script. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> so, anywho, um, Applejack and Fluttershy confront the Flim Flam, and... Well, it says that, okay, uh, we need the bits because we are expanding uh, our, whatchamacallit, this uh, theme park vacation place empire because stuff, we need to expand. And technically, it's the off-season. Nobody's coming to our holiday villa kind of thing. And wouldn't the winter holiday bring more customers? No? Yes? Well. Yeah, probably la- very last minute shoppers. Mm. But anywho, like like you mentioned, Gen Silver, yeah, they do have a problem because if they're really, really, really smart, instead of conning people for buying cheap plastic toys that they can get at the Hasbro Toy Store, <laughs> exclusive, uh, they could just just sell packages to their uh, resort. Wouldn't that be a better plan? But then they wouldn't get to scam anybody. It, this is a need. They are the second most troubled beings at this uh, at this traders exchange. The most the most damaged one really needed help is that pony who's obsessed with jelly, as apparently he's smearing it on himself as at the sample stand. Let's be honest. You're selling jam to uh, at a store. And a customer just starts smearing it all over himself. I mean, wouldn't you be like, security? <laughs> no, man. No, security! No, man. It's like, yeah. Very much I would. It, it's one of those cases where, oh, no, man. Like, um, this guy is going to buy a bunch of jelly. So, you know what? Let, let's just leave him be. And, yeah, he, here's the jelly that you want. Yeah, yeah, go go buy, 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 buy bits. Yeah, 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 yeah. Er- Oh uh, yes, this feels so good on my nipples. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, oh my. Uh, uh. Welcome to the NBS show, Tara. And you get offended every time I say the O O F word. <laughs> what? I'm count. I'm counting that. And meanwhile, you're you're pulling that. My goodness. Uh, uh, Why do you do uh, this to me? Why do you uh, do this to me? So oh, just just Why? wait until the. Just wait until the jam moves oh, on down no, south. No, no, no. Uh, oh my god! <laughs> I know why he's doing this. It's just to get a reaction of Terra. Disgusting! <laughs> oh, come on. It's very good yeah. humor. This means he likes you, Terra. No. <laughs> this is your trial by fire. This is also me making that, that one pony look way, way more perverse. <laughs> but anywho... I got no comments. So, hurts. Ow. so any Welcome to the show. You'll be taking over my role next week. Oh, er, this is this has got extra pulp. Mm. 
Oh boy. Anywho, we we move on. We move on. Apple Jacks and Fluttershy are not <laughs> yeah. happy with this. And Fluttershy is peeved. Oh god. And Fluttershy could kick a stone or something and kicks it. Ouch. <laughs> uh, such the cutest kicks. Uh, as Photo Finish might say, even her sneezes are cute. Here's where they they differentiate from the uh, from the comic. And how so? What's the plan? Because I am seeing a dastardly plan by Applejack. It's not dastardly if you're trying to save everyone. Oh yeah, that's true. But at the same time, too, she bought two. Oh wait, she bought three dolls. What the hell? Well, she that's definitely lulling them into a false sense of security. Okay. This is my favorite and second favorite pony. And I do not celebrate any of them for their acting chops. Oh, who's that? Fluttershy and Rainbow? Dash? Sorry, Fluttershy and Applejack? Yes. Because when they do that little rehearsed scene in front of Flim and Flam, oh my, I didn't know if this was the perfect gift. I guess it's not the gift for everyone. Yes. Can I'm ex- you tell I'm acting? I could see Charles Foster Kane. Stand it off to the side, just clapping furiously, <laughs> saying, all of you, oh wait, I'm sorry, Safi probably hasn't seen that movie. Oh, it's the gif with Shia LaBeouf clapping. Uh, wait a minute. Wait, I don't hear Safi protest. Have you seen Citizen Kane? I'm not going to say anything because everybody hates me already. Oh, uh, my Actually, God. I have a question. What is that? <laughs> See? See? I'm not the only one! Okay, you two now have to stay an extra half hour after the podcast to hear all the uh, blueberry jam jokes I'm going to make. <laughs> okay, anywho. I don't even like blueberry. Also, I wrote my synopsis of what I know about Home Alone in the <laughs> description oh, well, below. But any- Citizen Kane, it is, it is one of the greatest cinematic feats in history. Oh, that- I I never I've never heard it. of that. I can't it was believe never on TV. Oh, oh these kids today. Anywho, if I could carry along, um, Apple. No, <laughs> I'm raging. If it shows up on my television, I might watch wow. it. But anywho, uh, Applejack says that, oh, um, I want to buy these three dolls for my brother, my grandma, and my sister. And Fluttershy says, yo, uh, you think that's the right thing? Because, uh, they three have different personalities. I know, like, um, Apple Bloom might like Smash, and Granny Smith looks like a Taken player, and Big Mac is a Street Fighter guy. So you think that's smart to buy the same toys for them? This is look right. Wait, wait. Who'd you say was into Smash? <laughs> you pick one, Big Mac. <laughs> How would they even play games when they only have moves? <laughs> Ask button yep. mash. Oh, wait, you can't. There's a cease and desist against him. Oh, boys. No, no, really, Norman. Who did you say was in Smash? Apple Why? Oh, I thought you said Granny Smith. Granny Smith's taken. Taken all the way, yo. Well, I can see Granny Smith playing uh, Smash. The Falcon Punch! Falcon <laughs> Punch! Falcon Punch, dearie! And that's literally the only move she knows. Oh, it's the only move you need. But anywho... <clears throat> Uh, with that, everybody sees the trick that the Flim Flam does and says, you know what? I'm going to buy something personal rather than buying this cheap knockoff toys from China that you can get at the Hasbro store. <laughs> Speaking of Smash, I'm going to play while you guys... Are Boo! You, you, <laughs> no, you... Front and center miss doesn't know Citizen Kane. <laughs> or Star Wars. Oh, um, <laughs> or home alone. Or home alone. I just, I can't. Okay, even. to be fair, I put down my uh my my argument in the description of what I remember. Oh, but, but anywho, but anywho, um, with that, everybody doesn't want to buy products from the Flim Flam Brothers, and it seems that Applejack and Fluttershy's desperate plan works. So yay! Sorry, Norman. I'm gonna be a jerk. <laughs> oh, she's she's turning it She's on. actually playing. Oh, uh, mute Flim. yourself, lady. Oh. Oh god! <laughs> uh, but here, here's the thing: mm-hmm. in the comics, when Twilight and Applejack did something similar, mm-hmm. all the town's ponies got mad at them yep. for basically saying, "Look, who are you to tell us what we should do for a uh, horse you know, Maybe we we bought those because we like it, mm-hmm. and that's fine. Mm-hmm. But you know, how about you have a little faith in true. us? And here's the thing: um, 
the comics way of thinking does make sense because with all the hype that's going around getting presents or buying toys, whatever it is, because this reminds me of way back in the days of the early 90s where people are clamoring to buy a Wii or if you go way even back, people are clamoring to buy a Nintendo Entertainment System and with Robbie the Robot because he's your buddy. And this reminds me of that. Like, everybody needs to buy it. Everybody needs to buy it. Nobody's thinking about the Genesis. Uh, I was thinking of Phil Collins. Yeah. She seems to have an invisible touch. Yeah. Especially with Jam. But here's the thing. Why I like this more, even though Fluttershy and Applejack are, in a sense, uh, <clears throat> giving themselves greater authority than they than they really should over other people's choices, it's more lighthearted and friendly the comics, whenever they try and go again, they try and go undermine a classic Christmas trope. It always comes off as mean spirited or really cynical. And I think that's a good balance for the IP because the show kind the show does things uh, in sorry the show tells it one way while the comic presents it in another. And I believe that's a good balance for well what we're getting here because. If both do the same thing, and what's the point, right? Yeah, so take your pick, but I prefer this one a little bit more. I, I kind of, sorry. Although, although I have to ask, when when Flim and Flam depart, uh, they're chasing everyone to try and make a sale. Mm -hmm. When we see them next, they're running away from everyone who have become an angry mob. <laughs> yep, only uh, lacking of the pitchfork and, uh, pitchfork and torches. So, gotta ask, how did they botch the, that sales pitch? Uh, let's just say that um, give us your first one and we'll give you a stack of toys. <laughs> oh, boy. That's the only thing I can think of. Unless they just shoved it in their face and go, buy our toys! <laughs> buy our toys! Buy our toys! Oh, boy. Which is not, not too different from the current uh, sales pitch. Uh, yeah, but anywho, with that, Applejack and Flash, I don't have anything to give Rainbow Dash and... Spike, yes, Spike, yes, Spike. They don't have anything to give them. So with that, they have the toys, yay. And Fluttershy, don't do that. That's my thing. No, Applejack, don't. Actually, I just figured out what Flynn and Flynn did wrong. They said to the other ponies, well, what, are you going to shop at Toys R Us now? Oh! Oh! No! Ooh, that hurts for you guys because I still have my Toys R Us. <laughs> Give it time, Norman. <laughs> it too will look bad to you. It's going to the scary world. Oh, but you know that Toys R Us is coming back with a rebranding, right? Uh, I've I've heard several things, not all of them complimentary. <clears throat> yep, yep, especially for the people that work there. Oh, boys. But anywho, let's hit on to our last pony. Last pony, right? Yes. Yes, and this pony is Rainbow Dash. And, well, after trying to dig info from Fluttershy, she decided, you know what, I'll just buy her a candle. Yeah, done. Like, Rainbow Dash is taking the approach of, I'll just buy whatever, she'll like it, and then I'll be done. And Discord she, appears. She's taking the approach of, uh... <laughs> what's it? Well, uh, what's Ooh. it? Oh, is this Dr. Seuss? She's, she's taking the approach of, I don't know what to get my mother-in-law, so I'm just going to get her a candle to be safe. <laughs> Gift cards. Those work. Here's to say, you don't know me. Perfect for a ninja. <laughs> uh, but anywho, the candle talks and Rainbow Dash is surprised and scared by hunted candles. Oh no, <laughs> it's just Discord. And Discord reprimands <laughs> Rainbow Dash for this because... This is bad. Like, Rainbow Dash, this is bad. Like, do you know how dangerous candles are around fuzzy animals that get burnt easily? And Rainbow Dash says, Oh, fine, whatever. Like, I'll go find her something else. And it looks like Snoopy's going to join them. Or uh, Rainbow Dash. Yes, Snoopy's going to join Rainbow Dash and steer her to the right way to buy gifts. Yay. Well, uh, I believe it's the Baron. Oh, the Red Baron. Yeah, okay. The Red Baron. Da -da -tun -tun, da -da -tun -tun. Yeah. Two references in one scene. I know. Neither of which Safi gets because she's a youngin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh, yeah. He's younger than me, I bet. <laughs> well, I mean, she's got to know the talking candle reference, right? From Beauty and the Beast? Yeah, well, Lumiere. Yeah, Lumiere. Yeah, see? See, she gets that. Yeah, oh, from King of Hearts. Red Baron. Do either of you get the Red Baron? I've now got two whippersnappers to recommend. Hey, I know about the Red Baron. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Torterra. You get to take all the, the heat off me. <laughs> this is going to be fun. But anywho, um, while looking around Ponyville, Rainbow Dash just sees every store and thinks like, hey, this is a good store, this is a good store. And this course says, no, this is bad, this is bad. You don't know Fluttershy at all. And Rainbow Dash says, I knew her before you do, mister. And Discord says, oh yeah, if that's the case, I won't help you because I have the perfect gift for Fluttershy and it needs the most fastest pony in Equestria. And with that, hook, light, and sinker because Rainbow Dash accepts the challenge. And yes, they go to the Northern Forest, whatever it is, and try to find the mystical uh, Snow Chilla, uh, Winter Chilla. Chinchilla. Chinchilla, chinchilla. And they're tracking the little creature. And yeah, the Rainbow Dash just says, Discord, could you be a bit more quiet and sneaky? And with that, we get G.I. Joe reference. Yay! Okay, now, do either of you two youngins get this reference? Of course I do. Okay, Torterra is righteously indignant. That's a good sign. Steffi... I'm not even paying attention. <laughs> That's oh, part of the problem. <laughs> Put oh. down the smash for half a second and Falcon punch your way out of this reference. <laughs> it's but been I'm confirmed. G.I. Joe characters, characters DLC. In smash. Don't, don't, don't make us can fire you. <laughs> oh. <Pick> and fire! <laughs> Pick and freeze! Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I love this crew. But anywho, yes, we, we get to see um, Discord breaking the fourth wall again. In a cool manner, by the way. We get to see Storm Shadow and Snake Eyes. Yay! Me likey! Actually, this is one of the few times Storm Shadow may blend in better than Snake Eyes. Yep. Well, no. That, that, remember in the second G.I. Joe movie starring doing The Rock Johnson? I remember many things. I remember... Storm Shadow's arc being rather disappointing. Yeah, but still, remember they're fighting in the snow-covered mountain, and oh look, that's a black ninja. <laughs> oh, I see you playing the black ninja. <laughs> but it's true, he's black. Don't shoot him. Oh, oh Norman. Oh, it's just, oh, you're, you're you're just you're digging yourself deeper, man. <laughs> I'm just saying the color that this. You know what? I'm I'm, I'm ejecting. I'm ejecting. But anywho. Oh, here we go. It's a different kind of eject. <laughs> God, no. Uh, but <laughs> uh, we get to see this card saying that, oh, um, a winter chiller. It is a snow mammal, blah, 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 and stuff. And it's over there. Rainbow Dash zooms in, catches it, and yay, let's go back home and stuff. Because we got the present and whatnot. As they go back home... Discord here says, you know what, uh, Rainbow Dash, I hope you have fun and I hope you enjoy your pony holiday because I'm going home by myself. And Rainbow Dash here says, Discord, you want to join because without you, I could have gotten this cute little fella to Fluttershy. And Discord says, yay, I, I'll be happy to join. And Discord says, oh, look, it's already Heart Swimming Eve because it's sundown. And... He forget to mention that uh, as sundown comes, the snow chilla becomes a snowzilla. Oh no! It's snowzilla. <laughs> yep. No, oh no, it is not Godzilla because of copyright. <laughs> Still, we should run like it is snowzilla. Please, <laughs> <Cry! laughs> I remember that one. Ba, da, 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 da. <laughs> At least that I can get on board with because I am a huge Godzilla fan. <laughs> ba, da, da, da. So anywho, um, every pony yeah, here... Yeah, I beat Gleam. <laughs> but anyway, every pony here arrives at Twilight's castle and, well, looks dejected because everybody fails to get their present except for Pinkie Pie. And, yeah... So, Spike opens the door, welcomes the 
ponies and here's the word run because uh, Twilight is running from a tidal wave of pudding. Oh no! And suddenly... Pudding. <laughs> and suddenly uh, Rainbow Dash comes in with Discord saying, Oh no, run! The Winterzilla is coming! And everybody here is scolding Rainbow Dash because... It seems that she's the only one that doesn't know the winter chiller becomes a winter zilla at night. And yeah, 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 yeah. Or the poor Spike. Yep, poor Spike. Life beat, yo. So let's see. Um, let's fast forward for a bit because we're running long. Um, yes, the winter chiller is attracted to big shiny things, and Spike is seems uh, Spike seems to be the what you call this uh, sacrifice. So yay, um, stuff. And while the Winterzilla is distracted by Spike, Rarity is almost getting eaten by Pudding. And it seems that, well, uh, Shining Armor is going to help Rarity like the pony he is. Except, <laughs> uh, he's taken down a notch by Cadence. Oh no. <laughs> oh, so it was like, here, here, darling, hold our child while I risk, while I risk nothing because I have flight. Yep. It- and then Shining Armor is like, here, watch me risk our child as I try to one-up you. And she actually, fo- she's fallen for it. She's like, oh, she's got the Vetas. <laughs> she's just fed it so hot because she's got the Vetas. Oh, you Sil- put our child in danger. That's so hot. <laughs> Silver, um, I, I like what you mentioned before about Cadence being an adrenaline junkie. I dig it. I dig it, yo. Dude. Now she's picturing it. Hey, you know, I hear there's this new jelly this one pony really is into. Maybe we should try that. <laughs> Uh, no, no. And now I'm dying inside. <laughs> but anywho, um, as I fast forward things a bit, the Winter Chiller is creating chaos and havoc, and everybody's like, oh no, how do we deal with this? This is at the most conflict and chaos. Oh no, what? If only we had someone that could help the situation. And this card just says, Toy, you fools. We have, if only there's someone that could do this, point arrow at Fluttershy. And Fluttershy says, oh dear. And Fluttershy goes up to the Winter Chilla and tries to calm him down. But Winter Chilla just roars it in his face. And that mean swipe there, oh my goodness, that's fun. That is a lot of fun. I I, I love that. That's when the Winter Zilla know he done goofed. I know. You goofed up. You goofed up. So, yeah, the Winter Chilla is just, um, well, he's sad because family went on vacation without him. You could say he is Kevin. So he's Kevin. Yay. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, you could say he was home alone. Yeah, see? It all works out. <laughs> but with that, there's still just a problem. Just because I haven't seen the whole movie doesn't mean I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Probably. But anywho, um, with that problem solved, we have another problem with the pudding. And while this is happening, uh, Pinkie Pie just says, Oh, this pudding's nice. It's really great. Like, this pudding is really, really nice. And Twilight just says, Yeah, it's uh, Chancellor's Pudding Hits Pudding. I uh, made it myself for you, Pinkie Pie. And while I was not looking, I'm guessing the, whatchamacallit, Flurry Heart messed up the recipe by adding a lot of things, and I, I got no idea what to do. And with that, Pinkie Pie has the, whatchamacallit, Revelation that, hey, the gift that I got from the reindeers, this is the thing that solved the problem. Yay! Suicide jump into pudding and solve the problem. Yay, pudding's not killer anymore. Woohoo. By the way, what kind of pudding is green? Well, I have a better question. What kind of flotation, what kind of flotation device is Pinky have when it's Celestia? <laughs> I, I say this cute, yo. I, yeah, she, she keeps the whole country afloat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, but still. But Meanwhile, still. as Pinky's sinking into the pudding, that berry pony's off the side like, that's hot. <laughs> no. Silver, you have a problem. I, my problem is you guys are not crying in agony enough. <laughs> so, anywho, pudding problem is solved, and Discord says, yay, this is awesome, problem solved. And everybody there relaxes in the fireplace room and just talks about their presence and whatnot, because... Uh, Twilight feels bad that she didn't give uh, Pinky her perfect heartwarming present and vice versa. But still, uh, 
they enjoy each other's gift because if without the ingredients that Pinky got, the problem might not have been solved. And because the pudding was for everyone, because it's still there in the what you call this foyer, so that needs to be dealt with. Rarity says, "Oh, uh, I got the perfect gift for you, Applejack, but." Somehow, this farm pony boy needs it more than you. And Applejack says, you know what? It's all good because, like my pa says, um, the hat chooses the wearer and not the other way around. And I hope that the wearer now is going to be a great farmer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. By the way, does that does anyone else feel like a continuity glitch? Oh, how so? Well, in uh, Made in Manhattan... Her hat got torn to shreds, yep. and Rarity bought her a new one. Mm-hmm. So I was like, "So is this a different hat? Because we know she has a whole closet full of hats and bows." So, oh, <sighs> and even better, we'll learn in the shorts that she named her hat Tulula. <laughs> oh, so it's like, nice. do each of those hats have a different name? Tulula, Augustus, Bob, Betty, <laughs> Betty. <laughs> you now have a red shirt. <laughs> now it's blue. Oh boy, yeah, I love that show. I need to watch it. <laughs> but anywho, and Applejack says sorry she couldn't get a present for um, Spike because oh, sorry, yeah, the sp- present Spike got terrible, yeah, and stuff. And Discord just zap it off, zap it away. And yeah, vice versa. Everybody here is just being sorry and whatnot. And Greenwood Dash says, uh, "Sorry for the shy for bringing in trouble." And for the shy says, "Ah oh, no! Like uh, once you get to know uh, the Ch- Winterzilla, he's a adorable darling and stuff. And yeah, it's nice being the hero for once." And Discord just says to Rainbow Dash, see, all I did was make the perfect plan and perfect gift. Yay! Look, Fluttershy is all happy Yay. now. And oh my goodness, Rainbow Dash's face here is just priceless. Her face of Discord, I don't care. <laughs> well, what I, I can't get over is Discord basically played Rainbow. Yep. Like, <laughs> I I made Fluttershy the hero. You were just a means to an end. <laughs> <laughs> we're friends, right? <laughs> yeah, but still, uh, Rainbow Dash was about to chew Discord out, and Discord just says, look at her. Look at how happy Fluttershy is. And you know what? Yeah, I can dig it. I can dig it. And Spike here, like, oh, man, like, I, I wanted to give Rarity a present, but no, like, I, I-, I couldn't make anything on time and whatnot. But, you know, I, I did wrote a song with this crappy guitar I made, so yay. Somehow, which works into a very good musical instrument. Wow. Okay. Somehow that works. And the song was nice. The song was awesome. Yeah, I don't think there was there were any bad. Well, there were really only two songs, aren't there? Yep. But both of them were really well done. Yep, that is true. And we see that Spike get a kiss. <laughs> ship. I know. Ship it. Wait, I thought I thought you didn't ship it. Wait, ship what? You didn't ship Spike and Rarity. Eh, it's a kiss on the cheek. <laughs> At first. That's fine. Oh, I see. This is just sort of a luxury cruise shipping. It's uh, <laughs> just sort of, you know, oh, we'll, we'll dally and send the ship and then we'll go away again. Tra la la. <laughs> but anywho. Um, it's like, there's... I give him a gold medal. I mean, it's Christmas. Or hearts warming. Sorry. Yeah, but anywho. Uh, there's a montage of the other characters here and it's all good because we get to see Fluttershy giving Discord a present and it's a tea cozy that Fluttershy made way back when in season 4 was it? No, no, 5, 6 five. Yeah, 5 The No, it's season 7 Remember the one right. where Rarity was walking around trying to look for someone to take care of a shop in Manhattan? Oh god, you're right <laughs> yeah. The terror of that, of that <laughs> stitching, crocheting. I don't know. I don't do that stuff. Probably look worse than Fluttershy's. <laughs> yeah, but still, uh, we get to see Trixie and Twilight, sorry, Trixie and Starlight enjoying a good mug of hot cocoa. The Apple family and the Pie family are enjoying doing stuff. And it seems that, yeah, um, whatchamacallit, this um, marble, 
It's still heartbroken. Yep, she's still heartbroken. Is she? She doesn't look heartbroken to me. Yeah, no, look at her eyes. Mining away at that rock. Yeah, it's like, like I, 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 I don't, this is you. She's just envisioning that Sugar Bell skull. That's all. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, we get to see Celestia and Luna hanging out, and Celestia giving Luna a blanket. Oh man, that's so cool. And pistachio and the acorn. Yay. Uh, see, the family here is very supportive. Like, he, the parents know that kid likes a hat, so they give him a hat with acorns on it. Did that count? I, I'm pretty sure, though, that a hat like that would get you beat up at school. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, no, man. Like, those kind of hats are used for fishing. I thought it was more for use in Australia to keep the flies away, you know? You yeah, for fishing. When swing you... those acorns back and forth, and the flies like, Oh, God, I'm being <laughs> hit by an acorn. What is this? Yeah, it's when you're fish. When you when you fish, you got your hand and you got your hand on the uh, rod, <laughs> and um, you need to focus on it. And there's flies. You just move your head and stuff. Yeah, I had that one. I had that hat. My uh, cousin gave it to me. Stuff. And yeah, we we get to see uh, Yak smashing stuff. The Flame Flame Brothers being disappointed and stuff. And we get to see the changeling celebrate heartwarming. <laughs> they still have the best ceremony. I know. <laughs> Although yeah. I'm curious, Gallus, this must be a year after uh, Hearth, the heartwarming club. Mm-hmm. So did Gallus go back to the Griffins, or is he spending perhaps? Uh, I'm going to say he's spending this holiday season with the Hippogriffs. You know what? I'm going to say that he's spending time with the Hippogriffs because Silverstream is his girlfriend. <laughs> ship it. Yes. Yes, I'll ship it. Yes. See, see, Savvy, this is when you go for long-term commitment shipping. <laughs> uh, okay. yes. But I've, anywho, I've, after, after the song ends, we get to see the reindeers there uh, kind of being happy and whatnot. And yay, episode ends. We reach the real question. When is Ty and Daga going to redesign his OC? <laughs> Again? For he now, he now sits on a throne of lies, said the hippogriff that looks like uh, the classical version, not the show. Well, when are you going to redesign, Silver? Hmm? How about when you watch all the movies and actually get all my references all the time? <laughs> that'll, that'll buy me a few decades. Oh, boys. Yeah. So... Anywho, um, that one's ended. So, you know what? Let's head into the quote-unquote one that we were supposed to review. The best gift ever with mystery voice and so on. Oh, those are really short. I know. So, we can bang them out really fast. Giggity. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. I'm not used to Norma being the, the saucy one. <laughs> I wasn't expecting her to be saucy. Well, now, uh, now you need get to find out. I've ruined uh, jam for everyone. <laughs> yep, I'm. I'm pretty yeah. sure. Uh, so wait, should we go for final thoughts or save that at the very, very end? Yeah, let's do final thoughts on this, and then we can talk about the the shorts. Extra tree the shorts, bonus. Yep. All right. So the let's, shorts will be fast. Yeah, let's head to final thoughts then. So silver, what do you think of this one? Well, this was a wonderful return to form uh, of just the main six trying to accomplish a goal. And frustrating themselves and encountering this wonderfully quirky world, which makes it a lot of fun. It seems like lately they've either been presented as just doing their jobs very poorly or helping someone else deal with something mundane. This felt like something that was more fitting of earlier seasons, and I, I greatly enjoyed it. Uh, love the locations, love the expanded creatures. Love that I can drive you all nuts with weird interpretations. <laughs> yep. Of course, my frustration with Cadence and Shining Armor seems par for the course. It's like, your child is right there. <laughs> Pay attention. Ah, uh, boys. But all in all, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. All righty then. And what do you think, Tara? I really enjoyed this episode. I think that this is something that a lot of people can relate to because, like, like I said, I've I've never done this uh, Santa helper thing or whatever. But I th- I think I can kind of relate. If it was my first time doing this, I'd be like, oh, what should I do? What's the perfect gift? What sh- what should I do? But then all in all, it's the thought that counts. And I like the different locations too, and how there's um the new uh, winter chilla 
in the acorn orchard. A lot of new interesting characters slash creatures. All right, all right, all right. And Seppi, what about you? What do you think? It was very good. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the plot lines. Rarity was my favorite as always, and I need to go. <laughs> all right. Then we'll catch you later then, Seppi. Have a okay. good holiday. Bye-bye. Bye. You too. I'll see you guys in I don't know how long. <laughs> Again. I'm just going to disappear like I always do. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah, go go enjoy Smash Bros. <laughs> so anyway, as for me, this episode here is just awesomeness. Like, it's like what? Um, it's a return to form where the risks are not that huge, but the storytelling is awesome because we get to see um, good storytelling by the writers for this one. Like, surprisingly, it's written by uh, who now? Mike Vogel. So that's cool. And yeah, I, I do like how each character here has its own story. Um, even though the way we told it is kind of hectic, but once you see it in the show, it's kind of cool. It's really, really cool. It's fun. Um, it's not. I'm guessing it's not easy to write this kind of story. Like big headache, yeah, stuff. And Derpy, the Derpy's line is just so awesome. I just love it. I I just really, really love it. Much fun. Even you though just love Derpy in general. Yep. Even though it's really short appearance, I just love Tabitha playing Derpy. Like oh man. You can clearly tell I really like Derpy. So, yeah. Um, now, let's head on to the other, whatchamacallit, best gift ever. And the one we get to see first is Mystery Voices. I'm just jumping all over the place. doesn't really matter. So, as the student six try to learn about the traditional heartwarming of making dolls... Um, we get to hear the PA system blaring across the school, saying that how classes are cancelled, um, weather's terrible and whatnot, and stuff. And every time that Rarity tries to say something, the PA system gets, well, blared and stuff. And with that, Rarity stomps her hoof and tries to see who is this person involved, or who is this person um, playing around with the PA system. And Rarity bumps into Rainbow Dash and Fluttershy and tries to see who the culprit is. They're all about to go to war. Knock politely and talk to him. This is, we're gonna, we're gonna rumble. And while that's going off, the internet can enjoy Rarity's face. <laughs> with the, well, that one face with the tongue sticking out. <laughs> yep. So, anywho, um, once they barge into the PA office, they're surprised to discover it was Applejack. And I was surprised too. <laughs> and it seems that Applejack says to the group, says, Oh, um, hey guys, uh, Twilight says that I could man, uh, I could handle the PA system for uh, this today. And since it seems like a crappy day, I thought I spiced things up with my brand of charm and rarity says um dearie did you do all those voices and applejack says yeah and rarity says oh i i, I got the perfect plan for you then and it's the retelling of the heart's warming story from way back when and yeah uh, with that episode ends Although the funniest part is actually in the credit scene. He's like, wow, Applejack has this great vocal range. And hang on, they use different voice actresses? What, really? You sit, yeah, on, you a, know? You sit on a throne of lies, Applejack. Oh, really? No. I feel... You even watch the credits, sir? <laughs> oh. I feel betrayed and oh. angry and constipated. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, man. I was about to praise the episode about how Ashley Ball's range is so huge. At, no, no, no. It's just actually... Yeah. Nope, it was all a lie. Wow. All a lie. I, I feel cheated because uh, Shannon Chan Kent, that is, uh, what you would call this, uh, Pinkie Pie singing voice and also the, the Diamond Tiara's voice actress, yeah. Katy Westlock is Spike and also Coco Pomel. Andrew Lightman is Fluttershy. And yeah, oh wow, I feel cheated. <laughs> so, our heartwarming gift is the truth, and the truth ruined it for Norman. 
Yep. Oh, that sucks. Merry Christmas. That sucks a lot. See, <laughs> just, just like how Marble's heart was broken with Big Mac, we broke Norman's heart. <laughs> oh, yeah. You guys are jerks. So, anyhow, <laughs> let's head on to the You're... second special. <laughs> You're only just now realizing this moment, really. <laughs> it's, 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 like, it's like you don't know me anymore. Oh, uh, boys. But anywho, let's move on to the second special. And the second special is the Great Escape Room. Ooh, we get another escape room. Woohoo! So, um, Pinkie Pie decides to capture all her friends in Applejack's farm and make them play an escape room. There's nothing special for this one. It's just Pinkie Pie randomness. And yay, do stuff, do random stuff to escape the room. And Pinkie Pie did the MIB flash thing so she forgets how to solve the problem. This short is a testament to Pinkie's mental control in that she can actually make herself forget. But at the same time, no sane human being is going to be able, or pony, is going to be able to uh, infer what she's supposed, what you're supposed to do in this situation. It's a lost cause. Um, out of all three of the special, this is the weakest. The weakest of all. Like, this is... How do I put this? Terrible. <laughs> the only way to win is not to play. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that, wasn't, that one was a waste of my... What should we call this? It was just basically everyone playing the rules of Pinkie Pie. Yep. So, the next one is the old tradition of Applejack and Rainbow Dash have a competition. And let's see who's the best... Um, player and yeah, it's Triple Pony there, yeah. So <laughs> this one starts out strong with Granny Smith being a really, really slow counter, and the line there is like a Comic Con panel line where you need to wait for a really, really long line. So, yep, and then we get to see Rainbow Dash trying to hold her tongue and not get frustrated. <laughs> Uh, this th- Actually, I just want to quickly point something out. Mm-hmm. Uh, when I first saw this scene, when she put one of her when one of her feathers inside her mouth to like hold it in mm-hmm. for a quick second, I thought she was giving the bird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the bird, bird, bird. A bird is the word, but not that word. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But so, Pinkie Pie says, uh, "What's up with a rainbow dash?" and Applejack says, I trip a pony dare her to wait patiently in line and not go up front and stuff. And in my mind here, it's like, you sabotage your own store just so you could do a dare with Rainbow Dash? Wow, that's bad. And with that, uh, Rainbow Dash blows it and goes up to the front and yeah, Applejack won, I guess. What I can't get over is that uh, Pinky says, wow, there's tough and then there's impossible. Way to have faith in Rainbow Dash. <laughs> I mean, wow. <laughs> yeah. uh, once you know a pony, right? So Rainbow Dash just says, okay, like, I, I, I'll I, dare you something. And so Rainbow Dash dares Applejack to not wear her Stetson for a month or a moon. I don't know how you do it. A moon. Yeah. So, a moon, which is apparently 28.5 days, so close to a month. Oh, wow. So, Rainbow Dash says, um, you, you're not allowed to wear the Stetson for a moon. And you can clearly tell that Applejack here is just stressing out. Like, oh, no, this is, no, no, I can't take it. And I, I can't take it. Like, jumps over and gets Tilda back again. Tallulah. Tallulah back again. Oh, man. <laughs> I ship it. Yeah. So, uh, from this point on, everything just goes to heck. Until Pinky tries to one-up them. I mean, it basically just goes on and on and on until Pinky says, I dare you both not to dare. And I win, even though I didn't do a dare. No, the dare is like, um, the, the logic of the dare is, uh, I dare you two not to dare each other. And they couldn't do it. And yeah, yep. Pinky by one. Pinkie Pie but won the, by default. But the rules are you have to complete a dare so the other pony fails so you so you get, you know, one point, a one up. And she doesn't do that. Now, I don't doubt she could because this is the pony who could watch paint dry. <laughs> yeah. But you know but what? Sorry. She's declaring a preemptive victory. Yep. So uh, there's a victory in my book. So yeah, 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 yeah. And with that episode ends. So... 
Let's head into final thoughts for this tree. Oh, sorry. Oh no 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 no. There's we more. We got something to talk about. We got to, yes. We got the fandom reaction to this short. What? The because last at least one? on the yes. Mm, okay. Because of the Equestria Daily comments sections. Woo wee! People really were no. were lighting up. They they were upset because this is the same writer who did a uh, non compete clause. Oh, which I okay. I would argue is the weakest of the most recent season. They were human that it was more of Applejack and Rainbow Dash having this dare. And I, I kind of scratched my head because like, you know what? This is pretty innocent. The worst thing that happens is Rainbow cuts in line. True. That's it. No one else is being put in mortal danger. No one else is, is suffering on account of their rivalry. And while people are fast to point out uh, that this is very akin to non-compete clause, it's also akin to Castlemania. True. And uh, and the Ticketmaster. And, uh, and yeah, uh, Fall Weather Friends. Rainbow and, and Applejack express their friendship through competition. I think it's a mistake to say that that needs to stop to prove that they're friends. It's that they don't take it so personally as they used to. You know, they're not they're not coming to blows over this. Yeah, that, that's true. I mean, their dynamic still there. I think why people are angry at this is just because they're using the same idea over and over again, and that's getting old. I think that's the reason why, honestly. No, because I do agree. Because it, I it all started basically on Fall with Friends, where they started having the competition, and then they learned their lesson. Because in the end, they both came in last. And they and they learn. But then later on, they get into another competition, and it's basically they're learning the same thing over and over. It's like, sure, they learned it in one season, but then after the next, they do the same thing, and then they relearn that. And I'm thinking, well, didn't they already learn that? Why are they doing this again? Because this one here is not really a lesson, but more of a rip or just friendly banter. It's mostly them just having a fun competition, and. Uh, I forget. I don't think they learned a lesson in Castlemania, other than not to let your fears run get the better of you. Yeah, but basically, from that point on in Castlemania, it's not a matter of learning a lesson, but more of, I want to up one-up you. So, to me, I think that them trying to one-up each other is kind of the course for those two. I get the sense that, really, I, I worry that folks are letting one bad episode dictate all future episodes. Mm-hmm. Which is that old saying, don't let don't let yesterday take up too much of today. True, that true that and I, I don't know man. Like I, I feel like people getting angry for that special there. Okay, I can see why, but saying that the writer is a terrible writer just because of that is just not true. Going back to the... So, sorry, go ahead. We all need to take a chill pill. Yeah, yeah. I mean, going back to the well to, well, kind of use the same idea again might be tiring, that I do agree, but eh, it's kind of short one. Like, it's what, under three minutes? So, yeah, it's kind of short. I don't really right. mind. We can't really complain that much. Yeah. Oh, sure we can. <laughs> just doesn't mean just doesn't mean we're justified. Yeah, But yeah. we can. Yeah. So, anywho, um, let's go to final thoughts then. So, the tree special. What do you guys think, Silva? Oh, they're fun. They're they're short, and so you can't get into like a deep exploration. In some ways, I think actually the the dare is my favorite because it's demanding so much uh, energy and uh, strained reactions from the characters. Uh, followed closely by the the three voices mm-hmm. and its lies. <laughs> All right. And like you, I, I found the escape room probably the weakest of the three. As I understand it, we may get four more before the winter's out. Really now? I believe so. Huh. All right. So um, if a, if those another four comes out, we'll do it sometime in the future, I guess. Yeah. And Tara, what about you? Well, to me, um, the, sca- the great escape room, not really the greatest. I mean, it's just them Pinky being random with her escape room and everyone's just trying to do what Pinky wants them to. Mm-hmm. Mystery voice, I won't lie, for when I first saw this, I kind of was in the same boat as you, Norman. I thought Applejack was doing all the voices too. Yeah. But then when the credits rolled, noticed it was a lie, my heart was broken. <laughs> 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 oh, 
But I actually really like the Triple Pony uh, there too. Because even yeah. though it's like, kind of like a repeat, and you, again, you can't really say much because it's a short, mm-hmm. but they're doing all these different dares, and it's friendly friendly competitions this time. It's nothing too big or too serious. True, 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 true. It's it's just for fun. It's just for fun. And as for me, uh, I hate to be a repeater, but I agree with you guys in that order too, because... <laughs> like how I, how Terra says like yay the three voices the mystery voices was fun uh, Ashley <laughs> both has a good range suddenly discovers what <laughs> yeah and then me and Silver had to break your heart I know but I must break <laughs> yeah but still how do I put this the triple pony Daria is one of those things where it's been done it's it's okay I, it, it's harmless if if it's a full episode, I would have scratched my head and says, why do we need this again? We've done this before. Couldn't they do something else? But since it's a short, I could forgive it. And people do, don't really like the repeating of stuff. I do agree. But hey, it's for a short. It's for special. I, I, I can't say anything more about it. So yeah, I'm just going to let it go. And... Pinkie Pie's, whatchamacallit, uh, escape room. It had so much potential, but no, they just had to. Eh, eh, other disappointment for that one. And you know what? I do hope for the future we get to see the Student 6 do something. Like what, Silver? You said there's, sev- uh, there's four more possible shorts coming out? Possibly. Yeah. So I-, I hope that the Student 6 get a role in those ones. Somehow, we get to see Gallus go to the Hippogriff Kingdom and meet Silverstream's parents. And you're like, oh, we're at that stage already. Oh wow! You want to know what? You, you want to know what? I would flip out if they get Queen Novo in, like literally. And maybe they can show her in the background. <laughs> the voice actors don't come cheap. I know, but <laughs> just imagine if they could just pay her for it and stuff. Like, damn. Yeah, because, what was it? When the new season first got introduced, they're showing off the map like, hey, look at this place we've been to. Look at this place we've been to. Basically showing, hey, have you seen the movie? Have you seen the movie? <laughs> yeah. They could have at least included a character that was from the movie in case some people haven't seen it and be like, oh, this character looks interesting. Why don't they have more uh, voice roles or something like that? And then they can watch the movie. No, no, no. It, it's the budget. Like, uh, This is what I feared when watching the movie. It's like, oh, um, season... Eight is going to be a continuation of the movie. All right, all right. I I have a feeling that we're not gonna get Capper. We're gonna we're not gonna get Queen Nova. We're not gonna get Star Skylar or whatever it is. Like we're not gonna get them. Like they are high profile voice actress. Tempest. At least Tempest had a good excuse in the comics. <laughs> so yeah. Well, yeah. You're- you're going to have to look to the, the IDW comics to see these characters return. True. Nightmare Knights. Yep. Oh, man. That's so cool. Capper's, Capper looks awesome, yo. <sighs> but anywho, but anywho. Um, there's no what's next week thing's going to be because everything's planned out until uh, the end of the year. Um, next year, probably, we're going to do something special involving movies somehow. Um, not 100% sure about that yet. So... That's something for the future. As for now, we're just going to enjoy Christmas. We're just going to enjoy it with our family and friends. And we're just going to probably sing uh, Carol, Carol, Carols. Carols, 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 Carols. Yeah, and then going to um, pass presents around. <laughs> it doesn't say when <laughs> to stop. So anywho, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at thembsshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS Show, And my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. And Silver, where can the good people find you? You can find me on the YouTubes. Just do a search for Silver Quill or After the Fact. I'm also on Twitter and DeviantArt under MLP Silver Quill. And every Wednesday, I post on Equestria Daily with either an editorial or a comic review. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Do check those out because it's a good way to keep up with the comics and find out when they come out. And Tara, where can the good people find you? 
Well, they could also find me on YouTube by searching up my name, Tortero1324, or they could look up my Facebook page, or for the first time in forever, that was intended, <laughs> I finally have a Twitter, Yay. so they can look me up on Twitter. Under Tortero1324? Yes. <laughs> nice, nice. Branding. <laughs> Yay. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and Stitcher Radio. And also, like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyVLive.com. Links are in the show notes. Also, do subscribe to the show right here, right now on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Uh, you'll be able to listen to the podcast on mobile because YouTube doesn't do the whole mobile thing. So, yay. If you'd like to support the show, you can do so at Patreon.com slash The MBS Show. With every support, you'll get a week's early access to the Review and Discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I'd like to thank Master Lag, Amy, Charles, Lucky Knight, Tristan, Starstream, Lurker Cat, and also Jeffrey. Thank you so much, guys, and happy holidays. So, I have been Roman Sanzo. I am Cecil Vaquil. I am the Torterra. And we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the MBS Show. See ya! Adios! Ciao! Ah, I can't wait for the new year because that's gotta be awesome! Better than 2016 or 2018! <laughs>